I fear no man. But that thing... It scares me. If you've been playing fighting games for any amount of time, you've probably experienced the massive, passionate hate for Wi-Fi. For new and casual fans of the genre, this might come as a surprise. And it's easy to see why. Everyone probably played plenty of multiplayer games. MOBAs, FPS, MMOs, you name it. And you'll hardly find anybody complaining about Wi-Fi there. That's not to say that players from those genres don't care about the connection. They do, but in a different way. For example, if you're playing a tactical shooter like Counter-Strike, Valorant or Siege, most players will only care about your ping, which is the time it takes for a packet to go from you to the server and back, also known as RTT or Round Trip Time. This is not an issue for Wi-Fi. Most of the time, regardless of your connection type, your ping will be limited primarily by the physical distance from you to the server. It's also why many Wi-Fi users will respond to complaints by saying Oh, my Wi-Fi is good actually, I get 100 megabytes up and down, even though it doesn't necessarily mean that their connection is good. Having good up and down speed is great, but online gaming doesn't actually need that much bandwidth, so most people have more than enough to spare. What really matters is how stable your connection is, and that's where issues start to crop up. One of the often cited issues is that Wi-Fi is half duplex while Ethernet is full duplex. Which basically means that Ethernet can transmit and receive data at the same time, while Wi-Fi can only do one of those and has to switch between sending and receiving. While that does sound bad, it's not quite what causes the problem. Under ideal conditions, half duplex won't matter, as packets are small and transitions between sending and receiving are extremely fast. The real issue is that, well, sending data through the air is pretty difficult. There are so many things that could cause interference. Walls, doors, windows and other things will obviously impede the signal, but even being close to a router doesn't fix the fundamental flaw. Since Wi-Fi works on a specific frequency, any networks or devices that work on the same or similar frequency will cause collisions, leading to delayed or even lost packets. This will cause unpleasant hitches even in other games, but at least the servers ensure that they only happen to the Wi-Fi player. In fighting games though, it's a lot more frustrating because both players are affected. In games with delay netcode, the game will outright freeze if it doesn't get the inputs necessary to continue the simulation. And while rollback does make mild packet loss or latency spikes more tolerable, it's still not magic and it can still ruin the match. That's not an experience anybody enjoys, but especially not in competitive games. That's why you so often see people speak very negatively about Wi-Fi and ask developers to show what kind of connection type the opponent has, purely with the intention of rejecting Wi-Fi matches. So what can be done about this? Using a cable is always the best. It's fairly cheap and in most cases easy to install. But for those who genuinely don't have that option, there are still some solutions. The simplest one is just having as few sources of interference as possible, but the preferred alternative is using a power line adapter. These things allow you to use your home's electrical wiring to connect to the internet, making it much easier to wire up. They have a big downside of reducing your speed, but they also lead to a much more stable connection. Hopefully this video answered any questions about why people are so hostile towards Wi-Fi, and what actually makes it so bad. Keep in mind though that playing against Wi-Fi doesn't always mean that the match will be terrible. While Wi-Fi can be 100% stable, you can still have some matches without any problems occurring. And needless to say, making it personal and insulting people who play on Wi-Fi is just uncalled for. As always, thank you for watching all the way to the end and bye bye.